Oh, uh, no. Samson and Delilah. She's got a little bikini on. Mm-hmm. Angela? Angela, bro. 1949. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, we just won the war, dude. Mm-hmm. Time for Angela. Time for Angela. To show some fucking bush. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now I'm looking at uh, Sally Kellerman's nudes. Now I'm looking at Who's he- Hedy Lamar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam, I would love to get Headley, get Hetty from Hetty Lamar. Adam, why don't you, uh, why don't you run the from show? From 1932, damn. Well, she was showing titty in 1932. Who, Angela Lansbury? No, no, Hetty Lamar. Let me no. see. Fuck you. Come on, dude. Why don't, you run, the, you, why don't you run dude? the show while me and Stav look at pornography? <laughs> All right. For a change. Watch the... Uh, <laughs> do a double feature this weekend. Watch. Shut the fuck up. What? Coming to America, Midori is new in it. I don't know who Midori is. Is that the royal penis is clean lady? The royal penis is clean. Your yeah, penis. that's cool. That is that is one of the coolest things the royal that's penis ever been said in a clean. movie. Um, yeah, I watched uh, You've Got Mail, followed up by What Women Want. Mm-hmm. Little how about, 90s. How about uh, You Got Braille and Meg Ryan is a blind woman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Tom Hanks is like, ah, here, eat this hot dog. <laughs> Don't uh, use your teeth. Yeah, just kind of <laughs> put your like, lips. You I've had hot dogs in. before. I don't think this is a hot dog. Uh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> That's pretty You've good. got Braille. You've got I'm Braille. raping a blind woman. <laughs> that was that would be a good take that on would that be movie. Good, yeah. yeah. You've got Braille. Uh, uh, I'm gay. I'm Tom Hanks, and I'm gay. Uh, I, but I'm still raping this lady for some reason. Mm-hmm. Well, the movie is like, uh, I'll say this, incredibly enjoyable. I love that movie, but morally incredibly questionable. Mm-hmm. This guy destroys her career, destroys her. You've gay sex. You've, you've, you've gay, gay sex. <laughs> and then you've he gay out, cock. He finds out that his friend from online is this woman that he You're knows You're gay. And then he continues, Goodbye. He continues <laughs> to Goodbye. catfish her I for months. Goodbye. I suck your Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Explain. Yeah, he no, we're listening. He continues to catfish her for months. And then at the end of the movie... He I makes, sucked cock. Yeah, You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> I remember AOL. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> have, uh, what are the kinds of shit that the AOL guy said? <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> My dick is... <laughs> I suck dick. <laughs> no, I suck. <laughs> You've got cock. I'm trying to find it. And this is what I typed in. With AOL that. Slate's gay meeting. <laughs> Damn, there, you had a meeting with AOL, Adam? Mm-hmm. No. Hmm. I didn't have a meeting. Interesting. Anyway, so it's it's an incredibly enjoyable movie. Also, her, her boyfriend, before she uh, gets with Tom Hanks, is Greg Kinnear, and he plays like a DSA. You've got mail. Yeah, that was it. He plays like the DSA cuck boy. Mm. And he like writes articles in the newspaper about how he... Hi, I'm Elwood Edwards. And 22 years ago, I recorded a very well-known catchphrase for AOL. Oh, I'm gay. Okay. I'm sucking a guy's cock. Hi, I'm Graham Elwood. And 15 years ago, I contracted HIV. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> While having sex with children. <laughs> I couldn't go to the... I didn't know who to tell. <laughs> because so anyway, on one hand, I was molesting kids. On the other hand, I didn't want to die of AIDS. One of them gave me AIDS, I guess. <laughs> I accidentally fucked a child with AIDS. You I remember. So we were kind of <laughs> even on that one. <laughs> no, you wanted me to talk about my time at AOL? <laughs> I thought you just meant, okay, all right, yeah, I said the thing. It sounds like you're making fun of this guy. I just got an email. You've got mail. Whoa. Hell yeah. Welcome. It all started when my wife, Karen, who worked for Quantum Computer Services, overheard Steve Case talking about adding a voice to the then upcoming AOL software in 1989. So she volunteered my voice, and on a cassette deck in my living room, I recorded the phrases that you've come to know, such hey, as the... Hey, hey, Alan, look what we got. We've got emails. You've got mail. <laughs> so I went on to record, welcome, you've got mail, files done, goodbye. 
And what started off oh, as a test story. has continued to this day. So that's the story behind the catchphrase, <coughs> which, well, I have a certain amount of trouble trying to escape. Hey, Elwood, no one gives a fuck about your Let me guess. Do you have a new email? <sighs> Goodbye. Damn, what a cool video to produce. You've got mail. You've got mail. <laughs> you you shaved your ass <laughs> for me. <laughs> you fucked my Who ass. Who produced that video? Can I it's see your pussy? AOL's in-house. And by pussy, I mean penis. AOL was doing comedy videos like 20 years ago. I remember. They you remember that? Pivot. Pivot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they would like had like Alec Baldwin and shit. I don't remember that, actually. Yeah, they did. I knew a couple of comics that like wrote for AOL. Oh, wait. Yeah. Didn't Giannis have like a sports show on AOL or some shit? Possibly. You've sucked cock. Yeah. Oh, this is this. You've is, turned gay. Hold on. This is great. <laughs> I've discovered this by accident, but this is uh, one of the most depressing headlines I've ever seen in my life. Guy who voiced AOL's "You've Got Mail" could be your next Uber. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Brandy Barker hopped in an Uber and got the surprise of her life. No, she didn't. When Elwood El Edwards. Who the fuck would know? Elwood Edwards. Stupid name. How about L word N words? Yeah, lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your question. The answer is no. <laughs> Come on. It's his name. Okay. Yeah. No. Overruled yeah. on that. <laughs> Hypothetical. What's your name? My name is L no. Word Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> You've got mail. You've got pussy. Oh shit. Um you know so what he, he drives an Uber though? He drives an Uber and he doesn't have enough money to afford or put money into his Ridge wallet, which he can afford. Wow. Right. Very, they're so very affordable. affordable. They are very affordable, but not cheap. Right. Well, the best thing to be. The mm. best thing. When things are quality cheap. but affordable. Quality but affordable. Graham L. How funny is in this picture? He just didn't have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> <He's a walk. laughs> we've been we've been pinching pennies here since my last job in 1995. I got kind of got drunk with power after the AOL thing and started beating my wife and cheating on her. <laughs> Which I did. I used to say the catchphrase into girls' pussies. I, <laughs> Whoop, you got mail. <laughs> you, you've got gonorrhea. File done. I fucked Angela Lansbury <laughs> off there. You got pussy from Lansbury? Mm. Yep. Damn. Yup. The recording and test tape was accepted and has since become recognizable to nearly anyone who used the internet in the 90s or watched a certain Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks film. Good movie. Mm -hmm. Big penis. <laughs> Whoa, big yeah. penis. Uh, my dream is to have a big penis. Isn't that what happens in that movie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to play a piano with a, a big piano with my big dick. Yeah. Uh, we're going to, uh, I need surgery to make my dick big enough to play piano with it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, is that the, no. Yeah. Uh, no, that's the. That Just stick business? your big the dick on the piano. <laughs> Risky business. Big ass dick on top of the piano. <laughs> Just take your big dick and shove it in my ass. <laughs> we'll put your balls on the ivory keys. Just fuck me, I'm a fag. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 fuck me in my ass. <laughs> That old times a cock I'm gay. Um, what were we talking about? Ridge, Ridge Wallet. Wallet. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ridge Wallet is uh, it's a it's a streamlined credit card sized wallet that holds all your little fucking. I use it personally. It holds all your little cards. Yeah, all your cards. My Costco card. My uh, NRA membership. My NRA membership. My wildlife. Conservation Society membership, my mm -hmm. uh, my my good guy who deserves pussy card, yeah, which, which you is, got ironic as a gag gift. No, it's a real gift. You don't no, it's a real it. gift. I don't. You saw my real one. I donate twenty five dollars because you saw my real one and you got jealous. I donate twenty five dollars every year to the Good Guy Who Deserves Pussy Foundation. <laughs> yeah, it goes to kids. And a lot of that movie goes to breast cancer for Latina socialists. Yeah. Mm. Um, it, go, wait, it goes to breast cancer for <laughs> Yeah, because that's how why he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> they get the breast cancer. You breast cancer? You're, you're, you're giving money to... 
to the cancer itself? Uh, for Latinas. <laughs> for la- <laughs> Latina. Latinx us. It buys breast cancer for tr- trans Latina Marxists mm. uh, who are also members of wildlife. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Homeless ones. I see. Homeless teen. It buys breast cancer. It home. gets them breast cancer. It gets them breast cancer. You are giving these marginalized groups breast cancer. It's medicine that cures their tuberculosis, but also gives them breast cancer. I see. I see. Because a lot of people, and it's mostly conservatives, but they do have right. a point that you're not a woman if if you're not getting breast cancer. That's true. True, true, if true. You're just, if you just have tits... What evidence are they that there are women's tits unless right. they're filled with tumors? And if you're in uh, one of those rare cases of a man getting breast cancer, you're and a lady. Up until the foundation of this charity, sponsored by Ridge Wallet, which you right. can go to RidgeWallet.com, <laughs> buy their backpacks or wallets or any of the Duffel other stuff. Bags, a lot of good stuff. And that was sort of a checkmate situation mm-hmm. directed at the uh, T the community. Right. Um, I would say so. Mm. And the nice thing about Ridgewell, it's a checkmate situation, like Nick said, mm. and you can actually play chess yeah. while you have a Ridgewell. Ridgewell is the only wallet that you can play chess with. <laughs> yeah. You can put it, you put it on the Wallets other side of your pocket. And right. They actually got N word, L word to record. Is that a, the same guy? It's the same guy. Mm-hmm. I see. N word, F word is the voice actor <laughs> who recorded the Ridgewell. You put it on the other side of a chessboard, it'll detect, and it'll say E5 to N1. Right. And it'll make the moves. Mm. So you move the thing, hit the clock, and it says N I to GG. Mm. Well, oh, that's not okay. how chessboards work. <laughs> it's You had it right the first time where it's a letter, a number and a letter to ER. And no, then, no, 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 no. It's never two two letters together. <laughs> it's always it's always a, the, a letter and a number. The chess feature is in beta, <laughs> and so they're figuring that out. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm really excited about some of the new stuff they got going on Ridge Wallet, right? Such as N word, F words, chess feature. <laughs> So the wall. I'm sorry. Just to, just to clear this up, you put your wallet on the table next yeah. to the chess set. Yeah, and it will just sense where the, the pieces are going. Yes, there's a camera in it, <laughs> that, and the camera actually at the the wallet actually has a microphone. It has a little it, speaker that's always listening, and right. all of every it records everything you say and do, and it sends it to a central computer that parses out anything that's non-essential, mm. and then when it thinks you might be. Getting Getting ready to play chess. Okay, it puts a chess master online who analyzes what's going on. Interesting, and it relays it through pre-recorded n-word, f-word sound bites. Interesting of all the different. Cool. So there's a chess master listening into your conversation. Yes, and I guess pressing a soundboard with mm-hmm. L. What's his name? N. N-word. L word. N-word. <laughs> Wow, that's that's awesome, and and it's still and all of that, and it's still very affordable and nice. Yeah, and it still, by the way, keeps all your cards. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Your money, yeah, and it's slim, slimmer. Slim. You can use the 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 shit on the back. Can either be some kind of strap or a money clip, which is yeah. great. I don't know. I just use a money clip. Money clip guy myself. I never do. I don't know what the strap's for. To be honest with you. <sighs> Um, they got a little for something good. They got a cavity sound. Put the SD card after we do the show in that. Yeah, goes over to the office with it. Ridge Wallet. If you use promo code, I don't, actually do they have a promo code? I say that all the time, and I don't think I they think have. so. Come town or come town twenty. I'm gonna you, guess they do. It gets you something, but Ridge Wallet is definitely. There's uh, some good guys over there at the wall, at the Ridge. Big fan of the Ridge Wallet yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to try out my duffel bag, which is mine, and we have decided as a group I deserve. I already gave it away. Well, Who did it. you give it to? To Latina social. No, it's, it's, I guarantee you, it's in it's your little fucking weird half office. No, room. it's filled with uh, with radioactive material. No, it's not. And I said, I want you to hold this close like it was the breasts of your indigenous. <laughs> Why would you do that? To give them breast cancer. Uh, of Gaia. It's the spirit oh, of Gaia. That's rude, dude. What? To give Latinx women breast cancer. It's a charity. To give Latinx Wixmen uh, breast cancer. It's a charity. Let me see here. I'm going to add to cart a leather keychain. <laughs> <laughs> 